Yeah, it's practically finished. I just gotta screw in some more screws to make sure that it's secure. But your girl did it. <laughs> I'm at the finish line. Thank God. I mean, it didn't take that long. I was watching YouTube videos and it messed up doing it. But I'm just glad I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I don't really like putting stuff together. I just like making it look good. So let's see how I style this later. If my boyfriend allows me to style it. <laughs> I just want to put the woven baskets like inside the cubes and maybe like some little trinkets and stuff like that okay guys so after i put together that little bookshelf situation i'm just making dinner checking some rice i made like some spinach and butter it looks like there's a lot of sauce on it but it's really not it's just butter in the pan you know like spinach creates all this water so i'll probably have to drain it I made, like some turkey with like oregano and herbs and all that stuff that's pretty much it that's what we're having for dinner today like <laughs> something slight quick and yeah i'm about to put some stuff on the bookshelf and that's pretty much it hi guys so i wanted to show you the end result of the cube oh excuse me sorry guys of the cube shelf that i put together the other day while mj was at work he brought it and he thought he was gonna have to put it together but i already did it while he was at work so um basically we don't have anything to style it yet like i kind of want to show you guys i'll probably insert a picture of what my vibe the vibe i'm going for um but as for right now it's just a painting and I moved the Christmas Joy to the World sign over here along with the Hershey Kisses. When people walk in, they can take one. Then I have this Bath and Body Works candle. It's called Berry Spritzer. It smells really good. Of course, we have the lamp. And then another matching painting to go with the other side. And my favorite candle, uh, Marshmallow Fireside. It smells really good from Bath and Body Works. Um, it's the White Barn brand. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorites. I get it all the time. Um, next to that, we have his Apple Watch. I think I showed you guys from Five Below. I actually brought something for his phone and Apple Watch because it's always charging in like a different area. Uh, this right here is just like his walkie-talkie. He's a police officer. We keep that there so he can get it when he goes out the door. And um, it's nothing in the cubes right now, but when I insert the picture, you guys will see what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like the little bins, but I want the rope handles if we can find a color that he likes and i just kept my little <laughs> purse um tote bag here for right now um and it's like a book bag in there but all this stuff will be moved and i'm sorry about the corner of course this gift wrapping paper but yeah that's what it looks like right now it's not gonna look like this later but i just wanted to show you guys that i put this together I'm proud of myself <laughs> Also, guys, I wanted to let you know that I did do, like, minor Christmas decorations for MJ. Um, it was basically repurposed things because of the fact that, of course, I had to do my own apartment and my own room and stuff like that. And just buying multiple Christmas stuff for two different places was, like, way too expensive. So, we just decided to use some multi-purpose items and, um... We also went out to like the dollar store to get some items. So these little quirky looking Christmas trees, which I love if you have like a fireplace or a banister, they're perfect for it. Or if you want to put it inside your window, great. Um, they're at the Dollar Tree. I put that there. This is like a chalkboard sign that I had also for my taco bar. I didn't use chalkboard. I used the little glittery pens. Can you guys see the lighting is so bad? Hold on. Let me turn on this light. Is that better? It's not even better. But um... It says be merry, be bright, be cheerful, and I glued some Christmas ribbon on it. So I have no idea if I'll ever be able to use this board again because I wrote in the um, the glitter pen, gel pen things, but we shall see. And then here's just some Christmas cards we got from people in the mail. And I actually repurpose, which I always repurpose, um, different items. This is from Stephanie's bridal shower. So it's actually a table runner. And I used her napkin rings from her bridal shower. And I just put the letters in between of all of our first names to go along the entertainment center along with the napkin rings. And then here's another card from somebody. And here's an actual Christmas photo of MJ and the babies from this year. And 
I put another Christmas tree in the back and then I just topped it off with like a Christmas hat and that came from our homemade Christmas photos. As far as like hanging the stockings, I didn't really want to go out and spend a lot of money on stocking hangers because I already had them in my room. <laughs> so um, I lucked up at a dollar store and I didn't want to get like regular command hooks, although these are command hooks, but they're just a like cheaper version. So I went to a dollar store and I saw that these had hearts on them with the little hook. And I thought that would be cute, um, different, not just the regular command hook because sometimes that can look kind of tacky. So. Yeah, these are hanging the stockings on the entertainment center. And then this year, the stockings came from the Dollar Tree and he had um, the babies actually write them out this year. And I thought that was like a nice added touch instead of going out and getting the monogram stuff. It's a cheaper version and it reminds me of my childhood from when we were in preschool and stuff and we used to write on our stockings. So he just wrote all of our names and I thought it was really cute to get the kids involved. And I think I showed you guys the joy to the world situation, um, but I'll show you again, hold on. In case you didn't see it, um, this is from my birthday and I also used it in the bridal shower as well. It is the dry erase chalkboard type sign where you use like the chalkboard pen to write whatever you want. I didn't decide to do that because I thought, you know, it's not as festive. So I used these glitter silver letters and with different fonts that I had from the bridal shower actually and I just wrote joy to the world and I actually used these letters on the perfumes that I made for um, the bridesmaids for Stephanie's wedding so then I also used the Hershey kisses and I just tied a little bow around the candy dish so that's another um, Christmas cheap DIY and let me show you something else actually filmed this as far as one of my other videos but this is what we did to the railing to make it more festive I mean kind of cheesy but cute you know what I mean so um yeah that's another thing it says ho 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 and that's just Santa hanging from the door so that's it for that entertainment center I just have some presents that um actually are wrapped and I just need for him to write on them. It's a mini Christmas tree because his apartment is really tiny. It's like a studio and you know he lives in a city and it's just him so um, we didn't want to get like a huge tree. I just thought that was crazy. So what I did was I also repurposed this tree. You guys I'm going to insert pictures so you guys can actually see but this is the wrapping paper that I used this year. These are my birthday straws for my birthday party in May, my taco bar. And for some reason, I just couldn't get rid of these straws. I was like, what am I going to do with them? So I wrapped the Christmas paper that I wrapped the gifts with this year around the straws and made them into candy canes. It's another DIY. I, um, this is ribbon from the bridal shower that I tied around the boxes. Um, Stephanie's bridal shower was Tiffany and Co. And I used this ribbon and it came from like Michael's, I think. Michael's or Joanne's, one of those. And then these little rings that I'm using as ornaments actually are from Stephanie's bridal shower. They are from the seat covers that I use at her bridal shower. I'll insert a pic and I just cut the seat covers and took the little um, bedazzled rings and just put them on the tree. So this particular garland, festive little rope thing, Dollar Tree, this ribbon came from the Dollar Tree. Um, what else? And then I incorporated real candy canes with the straw candy canes. So these came from Target and they're like fruit flavored. And then as far as the ribbon, it's from Stephanie's bridal shower. It's from, um, her boxes that held the Hershey Kiss, like her party favors. So I had all these ribbons left over and I just started tying them on the tree. And for the topper, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, the bow came from Dollar Tree, but it looked really cheesy. So um, the bow came from Dollar Tree, but it looked hella cheesy, really cheesy. So I decided to wrap one of those napkin rings around it and use the ribbon from Stephanie's um, balloon arch box to give it more detail. And then these are from her bike. 
that I used that held her champagne, Stephanie champagne. So I repurposed that. And so that's the actual topper now. So um, you can make something cheap look more expensive by adding other elements to it. So it's kind of like a nice little DIY festive Christmas tree. And you know, some of the straws I didn't cover all the way, but I think it's okay. You know what I mean? You, you mess up a little bit, you keep going. No one can really tell, tell, but I mean, it is a DIY. So um, that's what I want to do for history. And then the skirt came from Dollar Tree because it's a really small tree and it has like the fur around it. And these are the presents that I showed you that I wrapped um, in another vlog and i just incorporated the ribbon christmas ribbon and i also incorporated the um actually this is the napkin ring that i put together to make it go around the present and of course you know this ribbon is from the bridal shower and yeah that's pretty much it i'll try to insert a clip of what the tree looks like at night so you guys can see how pretty this little tree is but I think I just didn't have to buy ornaments. Why buy ornaments when I can repurpose things to make the tree look just as good? So, yeah, that's that. That's all of our Christmas decorations that he has in his apartment. I won't have time to show you mine in my apartment because I'm never there. I'm always here. But um, maybe next year you guys can see what I did for my own apartment. So, yeah, that's it, guys. are dying to know what MJ got me for Christmas um I didn't get to see him this year for Christmas I came to see my parents but uh the first thing I opened was my card and it says it really is a wonderful life and inside the card it reads I would have loved nothing more than to wake up next to you on this day waking up to my favorite person on my favorite holiday would have been the most precious thing anyway thank you for making this year a great one through this pandemic so much has happened this year around the world, including me finding the love of my life. I hope you have a great Christmas with your mom and dads and Merry Christmas for me and let them know I can't wait to meet them. As far as your gifts, they are all something you stated you wanted at one point throughout the year we've been together. I pray you like them. Love you. I love you to the moon and back. Mikey. So that was really cute. Um, he had another card. So I got some sweatpants. <laughs> I love sweatpants. They're cozy and comfy. But he said, I wanted the Puma ones that he has. He has like these really comfortable Puma sweatpants, but he couldn't find them. So he wrote, so I couldn't find Puma sweatpants. Sorry, but I tried to find sweats that may be just as comfy as the Puma ones. Hope you like them. Cute, right? His handwriting is like so much better than mine. I'm so jealous. But um, the gifts were stuff I asked for like months and months ago that I didn't even ask him for. I think I put them on my Instagram story. But this is Maya Angelou's book, The Heart of a Woman. I asked for this because I always got to have a book for Christmas. But he brought me another one. And this is called Sula, a novel by Toni Morrison. Um, love this too. Can't wait to read it. I'll probably read it on my way back home. Great gift. And since I always lose my AirPods, I got some more. So I've lost a total of like three AirPods. 
hopefully I won't lose this one. Um, the rest of the ones that I had before, I didn't have a case for them. So that's why I lost them. But I'm going to keep up with these because I'm going to buy myself a case. And my favorite thing that I got was this KKW Diamonds fragrance. It's the emerald one because emerald is my birthstone. So I could not pass up on this. Like, I'm so glad he got me this. This was like the thing that I was most happy about. <laughs> this is the bottle it's really pretty it smells like divine um but anyways mikey if you watch this video thank you so much love you i know i know you're probably thinking let's have you why don't you have the gifts anymore what happened so on my way back home um my luggage was lost they lost my luggage so all my gifts were in my luggage and i no longer have them yeah that's pretty much it so after my back was lost, I filed a claim. And of course, they can't find my back, so I still don't have my back. But the next day, December 31st, I was called into my brand new office. So um, I have a new position and I moved up in my job. And so now I'm actually really, really happy about it. This is my office space. Too bad I can't start though, because someone in the office contracted COVID. So I can't work there right now. And it kind of sucks, but the office space was beautiful. And literally, it's new year's day now so i'm cooking dinner and i'm making seafood i'm not cooking the regular usual collard greens black eyed peas meal i wanted seafood and i'm making crab legs in the oven so yeah just see how it pans out i'm gonna bake them this is my first time baking them and then i'm going to pour a garlic cream sauce on top of them and I also made salmon, and I'm gonna have a Caesar salad. <laughs> so, sounds like a simple dinner, not really the New Year's day type dinner, but you know what, that's okay. In 2021, I'm gonna be different. I'm going to be outside of the norm. So, I'll let you guys know how this turns out, and I'll probably film me actually cooking the sauce. And yes, you do see the Patron for tonight. Don't be alarmed, I am gonna take a shot. <laughs> I'll be right back. So for the cream sauce, you're going to need some onion. I used a little bit of onion. I don't even like onions, so that's why it's so little. Um, you need some minced garlic. You need um, one stick of butter and probably like a half, um, a half of a stick of butter or a little bit over a half stick of butter. Then you need your heavy whipping cream and you also need some chicken stock. But I don't have that, so I have a chicken bouillon. I'm just going to literally add this to some water, crush this up, and I'll have basically like the same thing. So um, that's all you do, and you can use salt and pepper to taste. And so um, the last thing you need to top it with, if you have parsley, use parsley. Um, if not, that's okay, but parsley just adds, you know, that nice little touch to it. So I'm going to add some parsley to mine. My thing that you need that I didn't tell you about is oil. You put oil in the pan along with your butter so your butter doesn't burn. So oil is very important. I don't have the measurements. I'm sorry. I'm just not that type of cook. I don't have the measurements. And, um, I found this recipe online. So definitely in that person didn't have the measurements. So I don't know. And I'm going to add my own things to it as well. But yes, let's get started. This is what the sauce is looking like right now. I got all the flavors bubbling together. I probably should turn it down. It looks like it's up a little too high. But I've added my whipping cream. I even put some salt and pepper in there. I did my little um, chicken bouillon cube. My oil. My garlic. My onions are in the bottom. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. This is the end result. This is your um, cream sauce. And I added the parsley to it, and it looks so yummy. I can't wait to eat this. I can't wait for Brownie, MJ, to get home so we can try this together. These are my crab legs. I didn't put anything on them yet. We made our cream sauce, which I showed you guys after I made it. But now I'm going to actually brush the crab legs that's going in the oven. I have olive oil in here. I sprinkled a little salt in here. I have obey in here, and I have garlic in here. So we're just going to base that on top of the crab legs, you know, just brush them front and back. Then you're going to put your oven on 400 degrees, let it cook for 10 minutes with the oil base. Take it out and base it again with the oil base. Let it go back in for another 10 minutes, okay? So it's going to cook for a total of 20 minutes, basically. 
um if you like you if you like it more well done then leave it in there longer but i cook mine for 20 minutes and it's pretty much it then when they come out of the oven for the second 10 minutes to 20 minutes you're going to brush them again with the mixture and then you're going to take your garlic cream sauce you're going to serve it in a nice little bowl and you're going to pour over a little bit of your garlic cream sauce set some to the side so people when they crack the shell open they can use the garlic cream sauce that's pretty much it guys how cute are these holiday snowmen rice krispie treats i keep them in my pantry along with other snacks that i shouldn't be eating like this apple pie and oatmeal um cakes but these are cute for the holidays right? i will be eating these well folks that wraps up my vlogmas content i hope you enjoyed some of my short videos but now we're into 2021 may god give you and grant you all the desires of your heart thanks for rocking with me clutch fam don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell for me and until my next upload i'll see you soon stay clutch happy 2021